Friday. This is KBC Channel One. Welcome to the show. Now, I've told Savara this before. Like, I've waited for this day for a long time. I've been wanting to interview Saudi Soul for the longest time. And I've been reaching out almost every week. But you know what? I managed to get a quarter of them. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. They say, the, you know, you always have to wait for the good things. Right, Savara? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you're finally here. Santi Sana yes. for coming on board. Thank you so much. Thank you for me. sitting on my hot seats. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> and they say like uh, it's better quarter a loaf than no bread you know oh yes yeah, so. I'm grateful that you're here Asante. and you know you've honored my invites and you have come and performed and you've done your thing and yes. you're, you're a fantastic dancer yes yeah because also like I, I was a dancer before like I played drums so rhythm is wow. my life is my blood yeah 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 and also like your energy like I, always, I love this show. Whenever I see you and you're dancing everywhere, you oh, just thank ooze you. good vibes. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope my boss is watching, you know, <laughs> for a raise. But um, it's okay. Thank you. We'll wait. Mm -hmm. So, Savara, tell me, you know, you said that you were a dancer and you were a drummer before you actually ended up becoming a singer. Mm. So how did that transition happen? Uh, it's just process. Uh, I was a dancer when I was like after high school. Okay. Uh, in high school, actually, I was singing, yeah, but dancing was mainly the thing I was doing after high school. I used to dance to gospel music. Wow. Yeah, to Kiandaisima, Christian mm -hmm, kind mm -hmm. of uh, events. Yes. I love food. That's when like, I was listening to melodies. Yeah. I love food. I picked up drumming uh -huh. in high school. Okay. So rhythm just, you can get to Kwadam Walafu. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> yeah. Everything has just been timely and I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm thankful. But you have a fantastic voice. Why did you not think of going becoming a singer before actually ending up to become a dancer? What's your stronger, you know, what's your strength? Uh, singing, singing or singing, dancing? Singing, singing. So why dance before singing? Uh also like uh, growing up, <laughs> dancing was people in my estate what were gonna dance sana everyone ah, was just all okay. over the place dancing and you know dancing is very physical. Yeah. And at that age, you know, you're Energy everywhere, it, everywhere yes. in a show now. So we had a dancing group. Okay, that's where we used to connect, socialize. So that was the first priority. Like in, I wasn't the best dancer in that group. Okay, the other people were even way better than me. Yeah, but music was in me. I love for me. Kanza took Wimba getting into studios here yeah. and there. Na party your mic, and then oh wait, this nigga can sing. I love yeah. you, Kanza too, So how did Saudi Soul happen for you? Uh, we met in high school. Okay. Yeah, we met in high school. I met BN Chimano in Form 1. So you guys go a long way ah, back. Those are my boys. We were friends even before the music. That's amazing. Yeah, we played together. We played soccer together. You see now socialization in high school where you're trying to find when Mzuri Wapi. Yeah. What are you good at? Then we found ourselves always going to the music club after studies. Yeah. We found ourselves to a music class. I love to name Pamoja. Yo, we're like, eh, this thing could actually work. Mm -hmm. Then immediately after high school, we started being invited for weddings. You're just performing. Yeah, funerals, you know, everything. So we're like, okay, this thing can actually make sense. We earn a little bit of money. We mm -hmm. take a little bit of girls out there. Yeah. And I realize, oh, hey, this thing can actually pay. Yeah. So that process, you kind of like, evil, boom, boom, boom. And yeah, I am, yeah. Wow, that's mm. incredible. So, you know, I feel like it's very important to have a good relationship with the people that you work with. And since yeah. you're a band, you know, you need to be able to have good working terms with each and every band member. Yeah. And it kind of makes sense because when you're on stage, you just gel with each other so well. Yeah. And I feel like that's something that's not just happened off late because of experience, but mm -hmm. it's been going on as you guys were friends. Yeah. So your friendship is, is very important. Do you yeah. guys fight? Yeah. Uh -huh. But only on matters that uh, are music related mm -hmm. because we were friends first. Yeah. Then to leave to be natural. It's by natural selection, actually. A lot of synergy. We are not a manufactured have. group. You know yes. how many groups are, how so many groups are manufactured. Yes. Someone has a different personality, different background. But the fact that we were friends first, mm -hmm. we always say that that is our a blessing. And our greatest achievement as Saudi Soul is staying together. I love that. Yeah. You agree? Really Leave alone the music. It's yeah. just staying together. Being a family. All, all these years. Yeah. Yeah. Through yeah, ups yeah. and downs, through COVID and all. <laughs> <laughs> through a whole pandemic. Crazy. Crazy. It's been crazy. It's been crazy, but blessed. Mm. We're blessed. Mm. I love that. I love that. You know, now you have your own single, you know, Balance. You are, are, are you have an album with mm -hmm. 14 songs. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you've put your heart, mind, soul into. Yeah. Um, and, and, and let me ask you a question.
question. Why why is it that now is when you realize, okay, I need to have my own single. I need to come across as also a brand myself, as mm. Savara. Why didn't you think of this earlier on? Why now? It's a, it's a timely thing. Okay. Also, we respect the process. Because I think before we were, we weren't mature enough to be able to execute such an idea. Because you know, with the public pressure and everything, yes. uh, growing up and maturing, you have to understand that you have to be also yourself. And I think we are at the age where we are mature enough to be able to handle this. If mm. this happened when we were, when we were 21, 22, ah, unafura kichwa. Yes. Ah, raka sana, man. Femi nakuja unawana wende ulem deadly. But now, you're mature. When, yeah, we are mature. You understand the fundamentals. You understand the Saudi soul is the government. Mm. We are now ambassadors. Oh. Yeah, me ni ambassador of foreign affairs. Yes. Me ni ambassador <laughs> wa nini. Pole okay. kami ambassador wa music. So you understand, like, it's the beauty mm. of everybody that brings the, 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 the mojo. Mm -hmm. I love pia, the solo career una realize pia, as you do your solo career una realize pia kuna pitu zingine ni hard. Mm. Yeah, so the community kind of uh, way of living was instilled in us from way back through our parents, through our community, pali to me grow up, Vienna me grow up, Rongai. I grew up in Marish, mm -hmm. grew up in Karibangi South. So wow. your, the communal way of living, ilikuwa, we don't know any other way. So I'm happy that this happened at this time because it happened in Kitambo, maybe I was going to get a minimum. So I I'm grounded. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Time. 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 The, so the, time is the everything. The principle of time. Mm. Yeah. Everything in its own time. Kabisa. Yeah, um, Savara, you know, you mentioned that you only know how to be living in a community yeah. and that's your strength mm. because that's how you've been brought up. Um, when you were working on balance, did you go up to the other team members of Saudi Soul and you're like, you know what, I want to do this, I need your help, what are your thoughts? What were some of their reactions, their approval, what was the feedback? Uh -huh. The thing is, uh, people don't know, but uh, with all our individual projects, yes. we contributed to each other, like even the songwriting in this album. Uh, BN contributed a lot. It's beautiful. Chiman contributed. Like I produced a lot of songs in their albums. Also, we understand the wezi changia kila kitu peke yako, and that's how you become monotonous. Yes. When you do everything alone, because like this, this album, I produced everything. But when it comes to songwriting, when it comes to different ideas, you understand everybody's strength. Yes. I know Polycap's composition strength. You know, so Staji Fanya not compose everything. I think yeah. because it's me. I love who, there are things that I always depend on my boys. So that really kept us grounded. I love who you have an idea, someone to na changia, someone to na changia, someone to na changia. Mm. Ni kwatu kakuwa easy kufanya album. Of course. Yeah, it wasn't hard. You know when you try to do everything alone, no na patango mazako zina sound the same. Yeah. And you don't know, and nobody tells you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you've worked in like, I mean, you've performed in, in countless countries. Mm. You've performed in Europe. You've performed in, in places that I don't think any other Kenyan band or Kenyan artist has been to. Mm. So when you go out there and you get that feedback, you get that love, people are so warm to you. Like, how does it make you feel? Does it like just, just sometimes you're wondering, is this even real? Yeah, always, always. Uh, you feel butterflies and every time we perform you have to feel some some kind of butterfly and uh, also it's a blessing you don't realize too yo it's not over yet yeah no there's meanza. a long way to there's go. a long way to go there's so many countries i haven't visited uh and it's it's just a blessing and to not grow to keep grow to keep grow kuna countries agenda like in africa mm -hmm. so to there's so many countries <coughs> benin when i look at francophone countries there's yeah. so many countries i haven't gone to so there's still more grounds to conquer mm -hmm. now Una live and learn. Una realize you may show up like a mti tim titi. Pole pole to allow you grow as you learn. Yeah, it's it's a, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. You meet different cultures. You learn a lot. You realize a lot of different things. What makes us different? What makes us African? You go to European countries. You visit a lot of white people. Yeah. You realize different culture. You understand why black people are this way. And music is a universal language. Oh, no, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, for me, it's a learning process every day. Yeah, learning process every day. Una learn to una learn to learn. Because <coughs> we believe once you stop learning, you start dying. And you know, um, let's talk about Mara growing up, your uh -huh. parents. You know, when you when you told your parents that this is the the journey, the, your, the life that you chose mm. in terms of music, in terms of dance, mm. what were some of the reactions? Uh, for me, it wasn't that difficult. <coughs> because I've, I've always been an A student. 
and uh, I always like know how to talk to them and I was always a good person, a good student. But also I was cheeky in a piano I have some ways I used to mess up every other day here and there. Lakini ilikuwa process ilikuwa easy because in school pia nilikuwa na drama first na the music first na fanyeza vitu zote. But then still I ace my exams. Wow. People think like musicians are dumb <laughs> and and music is like a, a fallout kind of, you know kind of career. Always a plan B. A plan B. No, music is plan A because when you look at most musicians, most artists, they're very intelligent. Most guitarists oh, are yes. mathematicians, you know. We know how to music is numbers. You know people just think music is just una tu tu hapo voice at nini nini. Understanding your talent. No, no. So when you apply that and then uh, I qualified for everything, ile nenda campus, sisumbui wazazi, ile tu wanaona tu. Okay. And then the first time I'm traveling to Europe, I'm going to South Africa, I'm going to uh, United States of America, it's through music. Yeah, Not even course. my career as Jyoti what? I did finance. Wow. For example, yeah. Okay. But your finance I couldn't pandisha ndege. Oh yes. Kitu ya kwanza ni pandisha ndege ilikuwa mziki. So through that process, even my mom and my dad when I realized, wow, this guy has just gone abroad and lived there for a month because of music. So they also appreciate yeah, so I'm lucky to also have had or to have support parents who are very supportive mm. and also like pia mimi nilikuwa msee ili try kuji align siku kwa mrui really yeah siku kwa mrui ili try as much as possible kuonesha and also like they thought they also thought of the process like music will keep you out of trouble okay interesting yeah because i have friends who walikuja kwa course juu wezi ama msee unapata he's very dope but but in Baya, I'm not saying like I'm perfect, mm. but Mimi Mziki ni like a grounded. Mm. Ilikuwa natoka home na mbia, mama, I'm going for a concert. Mm. And I realized, oh, that's better than, than going out you're just in the hood, yes, chilling. Yes. So it was a psychic that I think my parents really understood at a very early age. And I thank, I'm thankful. Yeah. I'm lucky. Yeah. See what you're evil. Blessed. Yes. Blessed. Yeah. Mm, absolutely. Savara, let's talk about um, you know the fact that you've mentioned um, there's, there's, there's a few articles I've read, and they've said that balance was actually inspired by two very beautiful women in your life. Number one, mm. your mother, <laughs> and number two, the love of your life. Yes. Tell us more. Tell us. Tell us why these two women are so important for you. Because you know a lot of people think that artists out here they don't really have stable relationships, mm. you know, because of the, the nature of their work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you have that lady luck, I think it takes you places, I, right? Mm. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, <laughs> you have. Yeah, it takes you places yeah. and also it grounds you. Mm. And I'm lucky to have like uh, women in my life who've been so supportive. I love who I've learned a lot of a, lo a lot from them on how to treat even other women. Mm. Like my mom, the way she supported me and the way her relationship with my <clears> father <throat> yes. was really inspiring to me. They were very like cordial ndio vitu za here and there my mama alikuwa mkali sana but yeah. kuna venye ni straighten ali decide oh you know i don't have a lot of money yes but i'm going to take you to a private school aka sacrifice and like then i was like this woman you know and she was a fashion designer mm. alafu alikuwa anafanya kazi karibangi market mm. so when I, when i see how she used to work so hard for me no man kafanya a song like fashionista yes hiyo ni very inspiring to me kuona eh hey, Uni alini mama me nishona. She's my original designer. So in a very easy, easy up as you my what? Like <laughs> when I look at my red thread, when I look at my DNA, she's the one who did it. Mm. So it's really inspiring kuona even a lady like Yvonne, yes. who's in my life, na me nyaka stable for the longest mm. time. Ah, yo, see, there are things you don't play with. We don't play with your foundation. Mm. And, uh, and I think so many people, that's where they make a mistake. It's beautiful to see. Yeah. You know, like you, you, you post about your little dinners together. Yeah. Um, I, I follow her as well. And ah, like nice. the things that she <laughs> says, it's just beautiful to see how you're friends. Yeah. And I feel like it's very important, especially being an artist, as you've mentioned, that you have to have a strong foundation. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. even if you go abroad for two months, three months, you have well, to come back are. home, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to come back home to people who ground you. Yeah. Yeah. And after over time pia una realize all these things pia ni it's a facade yes uta enjoy it uta enjoy lakini when the rubber meets the road yeah. sale kuna trouble when you're sick yes mtu mwenye ata god forbid mtu mwenye ata panguza huku yeah. umechoka ume, ama umejiharia ama umefanya yeah. nini it's the love of your life okay lakini wale wana ululate yeah. during times of happiness peke yake mm. will they be there yeah so it's a matter of how you wear uh, you 
measure your options okay. it's who you are and how you are raised that's why i always say like i'm lucky that Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. How sweet. Samara, let's talk about your plans in future. Mm -hmm. what, what what can we expect from you? We, you know, you are only getting started as Savara. Mm -hmm. um, where What can we expect from Savara the brand? Yeah, Savara is just uh, becoming this really global uh, phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am a representation of culture, uh, versatility. And I just want to be a part of my people and be able to be true to myself. I'm savage. My album is called Savage Level. Mm -hmm. Savage Level is being able to understand yourself to a way that you can be able to articulate your lifestyle, okay. articulate your friends, articulate everything around you, and be bold about it. Okay. Yes. Nikujijua to it's we've come of age. Yes. Africa, we've come of age. Yes. Saini the time yakuji announce na kusema we are here. So my future ni I don't like to always like put a cup. Okay. And say like, oh, in the next five years, I want to do, do this. this. Right. I'm just happy with the way like things are going. I'm happy with the way the fans are engaging with my music, and there's so much happening. Naita kujaku unfold. Even right now, I just met my team. I was like for a nine-hour meeting with my wow. team. Wow. Just planning and planning. It's hard work. Being a musician is hard work, especially oh. big uh, Savara from ah. Soul. Senor. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 and. Uh, there's a lot. There's, a, there's some business elements, business things that you have to put in place to be able to, uh, to sustain for yeah. more than 10 years with Saudi Soul. It's yeah. not a joke. Oh, yeah, in amazing. business, you see, you know, people think to yeah. Talanta ni because you know how to sing or you have a good yes, voice. It's yes. just going into a studio and busting a melody. And that's it. Ah, yeah. no, the work is over. <laughs> Wapi. No, 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 no. There's yeah. creating a brand. Look yeah. at you, Shiksha. Yeah. You've created yeah. your own brand. Thank you you work much. so hard. I see how like you put in work. And my savages and yeah. savage level is going to be leveling up every other day. I love it. Any yeah. message as we wind up to your fans? Message to my fans are yo, stay true to yourself because I'm true to myself and I hope you're going to be ready for my fire. The fire that's coming is on another level. Yeah. All right. hell ni fire tu ingine yangu. Stay savage, <laughs> stay woke, be real. Twende Kazi. All right, Twende yeah. Kazi. And before we leave, we have to do the Omanyala challenge. Oh, Senor. shout out. Actually, shout yes. out to everybody who's vibing to that song. I, when I wrote that song, when I saw that guy. And he's, he's a savage, Omanyala. He's savage. Oh, because yes. Because in, uh, in high school, I used to compete for the 100 meters. I was the fastest in, okay. in high school. So I know what it means to run 100 meters. Yeah. And to be at that level and yeah. to perform at that level, I'm saying him savage. All right. So this song I did for him is not for me. It's not so for him. Mandy, it's not for Calligraph it's a Jones. Tribute to him. Mio, mio, mio. It's a celebration of all savages who are available and working okay. so hard to achieve their dreams. Right. Coljax, I hope you have the track ready. All right, thumbs up from Coljax, so let's go. Yeah. We are started? Ah. <laughs> Una kubuka. I, of course, I, I remember it. Kingoni who wish ya kwa sakafu Minki funguka ni upepo ni pati rada chafu Na ropa rindo my city so kouta pato daku Apa na kuskiza the studio is like my turbanaku Mistari kwangu kama atoji Oni mao, get set Mbuzo kingoni huwishia kwa sakafu Minki funguka ni upepo ni pati rada chafu Na ropa rindo my city so kouta pato daku Apa na kuskiza the studio is like my turbanaku Mistari kwangu kama atoji na Solemon Na pea track mimba na njoti za Oregon Wana ni like then I must be a member Adesanya with the kicks Mr. Last Day Abenda Oma nyala jodala usema wadolo Jukwa barabara kwa tarasa ase nyonolo Staki form ya swara vya shara utapigwa nyongolo Aumi ya jesa varo na swara kwa zmembe Yeah, I'm 
wachaji wa ghetto mpaka si waka kata katikati mbele utani pata ebu niambie mbona basi unani fuata au nani tanga wanani tanga fast body sorry top striker ni tehari yani conductor ongeza kasi basi una rada mimi nikabaya sezi kosa ka u oh my god you dala usema mololo juko barabara kota na saa senyonolo stuck from your sword up your shadow to pick on your lolo i'm here just about on a swallow cuz man we don't know challenge support your own manze umsa mefanya great things pia uta support you next time yeah so do the challenge do everything you can ku support to msewe to omanyala i respect him man shout out by the way he's out of the country he just went to run uh, uh-huh. three races again okay yeah so omanyala dance for our big person big tune and that's it from us right here in studio that's it of today's conversation we'll do this again next week same time same place yeah. make sure you're tuned in the one and only savara with savage level to remember great things coming up for the one and only savara so make yeah. sure that you follow his journey follow him on social media and just support the guy like his songs on youtube and just do what you can as a <laughs> kenyan listener supporting kenyan talent so yes uh, you know we'll do this again next week same time same place sure. so make sure you stay right right here because Cole Jacks on the other side have has got some great music for you it's type for disco funk Shiksha Aurora signing out Bye-bye.